Welcome into Duval Daily presented by GinJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thank you so much for tuning in here Monday, March 6th, second show of the day. We've got breaking news. Calvin Ridley officially reinstated by the NFL. He is now officially a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars moving into the 2023 season. Big, big news for Trevor Lawrence, Doug Peterson, and the rest of the big cats. Calvin Ridley has not played since 2021, stepped away from the game to attend to his mental health, then got popped for that gambling um, and and suspended indefinitely, was, was out for the entire 2022 season on that suspension. But he's back, and he's fired up to come to Duval. You've seen it throughout his um, interactions online on social media. He's been uplifting towards some of his teammates already. He's been interacting with me, interacting with others around the Jaguars, uh, you've seen workout videos of him come out where he still looks like he's got it. Of course, we don't know who he's training against, but just to the naked eye, looking like um, looking like a guy who still still has it, you know, in these workout videos. And I think that's what the Jaguars' full expectation is going to be here that they're getting prime Calvin Ridley again. This guy, he is only 28 years old, just turned 28 recently in the prime of his career, still on his rookie deal. The Jaguars' expectation is to get um, to get the best of Calvin Ridley. I think Calvin Ridley's expectation is to come here and be able to, uh, to serve as a wide receiver one for Trevor Lawrence and Doug Peterson in this offense. He's fired up to get to Duval. I'm fired up to have Calvin Ridley in Duval. 2023 cap hit. Uh, as of now, is going to come in at just over $11 million. It is possible that the Jaguars rework that deal prior to the season. Now, if the Jaguars do decide to do that, the second they extend Calvin Ridley, the 2024 draft pick that goes to Atlanta for Calvin Ridley in that trade automatically becomes a second-round pick. And now, look, if you're happy with what Calvin Ridley's doing, you want to keep him around a long time, you'll happily give up a second-round pick for him. So in my opinion, I wouldn't expect them to be uh, hasty to to go ahead and extend him, to go ahead and give him a new contract. Um, I think that they'll probably try to see how he's looking, how he comes in here, how he attacks this offseason before doing anything of that nature. Uh, with his cap hit, again, of $11 million, um, that's going to be hitting the Jaguars' books. Also, Evan Ingram's franchise tag will be hitting the books as well. The Jaguars are expected to place the franchise tag on Evan Ingram. That's going to come in at just over $11 million as well against the Caps. So you're looking at around $22 million between those two players um, on the Jaguars' salary cap table. I think uh, you can expect some cap-saving moves to, to be just around the bend. and Namely, I think the top one that's going to happen here is the expected release of Shaq Griffin, cornerback who signed with the Jaguars prior to the 2021 season, hasn't quite gone his way, suffered uh, through some injuries in 2022 with the Jaguars. They have Darius Williams. They have Tyson Campbell. They don't want to pay uh, another corner big-time money, and the Jaguars are going to be able to save $13 million against their 2023 cap table by releasing Shaquille Griffin. So what does this mean for the Jags in 2023? Um, you know, is Calvin Ridley... Is he going to come in and change the offense entirely? I don't think that the structure of the offense is going to change entirely. He is going to change the way defenses have to defend the Jaguars, though. Again, assuming he comes back full health, ready to go, um, and by the time the regular season rolls around, he's looking like Calvin Ridley of 2021, 2020. You know, the guy who... In his third year in the league, at 26 years old, 90 receptions for 1,300 yards, nine touchdowns, was just lighting the league on fire, was catching all the deep balls. The the thing about Calvin Ridley is he he is kind of a magnet, right? Defenses have to pay attention to where he is. So his mere presence alone, even when you're not getting him the football, it's going to make it easier for the rest of the offense to operate at a high level because defenses are going to have to give Calvin Ridley attention. They're going to have to know where he is on every single play because he can take the top off the defense. He can beat you on all three levels of the field. He's got great speed, even though he didn't test out of his mind, you know, 40 yard dash, but you see him explode off the line of scrimmage. You see him get in and out of breaks as fast as anyone on the planet right now. And so uh, all that, is going to be huge. And then you just talk about 
um, his hands. It's going to be another reliable set of hands for Trevor Lawrence to throw the football to. Going to be a guy to take attention away from Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, whoever else the Jaguars add to their wide receiver room. Evan Ingram at tight end. So I think it's a it's a, it's a huge development for the Jaguars. And now you go into this offseason um, wide receiver, not at the top of the list of needs, right? Uh, maybe you want to add a possession receiver, a bigger bodied receiver at some point. When you look at your top three guys, Zay Jones has some size to him, but you, do you consider him a possession receiver? I can't say that after after the amount of balls he let hit the ground in 2022 for the Jaguars. I would see, say, you know, Zay, you can use in a lot of different ways. Do I want to throw him the ball consistently on third down when you got to have a big play? I wouldn't say that. I would say you could probably upgrade in that regard. And Marvin Jones was that guy for the Jaguars in 2022. He could potentially return, but at his age, could he go find a bigger role elsewhere? Potentially. We'll see how it all plays out. Uh, But wide receiver not at the top of the list of needs now for the Jaguars for the first time in a long time. This has been a team that's been desperate, a franchise that's been desperate for wide receiver talent since the departure of Jimmy Smith. It now appears that they have that. Under Doug Peterson and Trevor Lawrence, you've got Christian Kirk, Calvin Ridley, Zay Jones, Evan Ingram at tight end. You've got Travis Etienne in the backfield. There is skill all over the field for the Jaguars offense. And it's going to be exciting to see how it all comes together this summer You know, on the practice field. That's where it's all going to begin for Calvin Ridley and the Jaguars in 2023. That is going to do it, though. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just wanted to come at y'all with a quick update. Again, Calvin Ridley, Jaguars wide receiver, who they traded for prior to the 2022 trade deadline, has been officially reinstated uh, after he was indefinitely suspended for gambling in 2021. Missed the entire 2022 football season. Looks like he's back. He's ready to go. He's excited to get down to Jacksonville, join this football team. And I know Doug Peterson and Trevor Lawrence are excited to get him here too. So that's going to do it for the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit me up on Twitter at Jordan DeLugo. Hit that like and subscribe button here on YouTube. Helps the channel a ton. If you're on your podcast platform of choice, you can also hit the subscribe button and give us a a nice review. Really appreciate y'all's support, Duval. Have a good one.